So for our kids who are with us this morning, and uh, for those who may be watching online, my wife gave me some sad, sad news yesterday. She's taking down the Christmas decorations. <laughs> you know, it is time. Our kids got to go back to school on Wednesday, and you know she wants their help doing it. But but she and the kids do it. She generally doesn't make me do it because she knows how sad it makes me to take down Christmas. I, I like the decorations and the lights and all the Christmas traditions, right? The songs and the movies and the Steelers winning football games and <laughs> OSU winning playoff games. I'm just saying in case you missed it. Um, I miss all that. But it is time. We celebrate 12 days of Christmas in the church. That'll be over in just a few days. But you know what's great? What happens after Christmas? Something new. God does something new. Even when Christmas ends in this new year, we know that God's going to be doing something new with our lives, with our church, and with the world. And so what I'd like all of you to do this week, maybe as you're taking down Christmas, if you haven't already, or as just you're getting ready for school or whatever else is coming up, talk to your parents and see what one new thing, find one new thing that God is doing in your life that you're excited about. What's something new at school that you're looking forward to? What's something new you're doing in 2021 as a family? What's something new that's happening in the world around you? So do that this week uh, with the family. Think of one new thing that you're excited about. Because we serve a God who does new things. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the joy of Christmas, for the 12 days that we celebrate Christ's birth. We pray that you will give us new joy, even as Christmas comes to an end for this year. Help us to see the new, wonderful thing you are doing in our lives. Through Jesus' name, amen.